All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, got an update. I got probably one of the best trades um, that I've had in a long time. And also, you know, just a couple cool pickups. And I think you guys will really, really enjoy it. Um, it's definitely unique for me. Um, we had a card show recently, and I was able to um, go through. Most of it was ultra modern, basketball, football, stuff like that. And that stuff's great. Um, my wheelhouse is more around, you know, vintage rookies and um, TTMs and getting things signed and, and kind of that way of looking at my collection. But um, there was some cool stuff there. A couple of vendors had a little bit of vintage. I was able to make a deal. Um, that's kind of what the premise of this video is going to be is around that deal. And um, kind of go through and let you know how it all worked out. But first, I did have a little bit of a mail day. I had one card come in this week. It was just a Champ Bailey Topps Chrome, our Topps Finest Refractor. Um, super clean. Had the peel. I peeled it, obviously. Uh, it was coming up a little bit, but super sharp card. I'm thinking it'll probably 9 or 10 eventually when I get it graded. If grading ever comes back to a reasonable price for, you know, bulk submissions. Um, but outside of that, we'll get back to the trade. Um, you know, guy has some really good basketball vintage there. I'm going to look to hook up with him later on. Um, but there was a guy that came out of Charlotte and um, had some cool stuff. And I guess he picked this card up earlier in the day of the show. I got there about halfway through. And um, I'll go ahead and let you guys know kind of what I what I traded. So I had a 2009 um, certified uh, Steph Curry rookie uh, materials, the autographed jersey. And it was a BGS 910. I'll throw a picture up here so you guys can see it. Um, great card. Probably one of my favorite Curry rookie autos. Um, I think they're numbered out of 399. So really cool card. Uh, pricing all over the place with those. I mean, one out of 100 sold for you know, right around 18 to two. Um, and that had a 10 auto on it. This one has a nine auto. Also, it, you know, I don't know, pricing is all over. A lot of asking prices up around the four area. Um, I estimated the trade value somewhere in the two. I didn't have a lot in the card. Um, I got it, you know, before the boom, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, for me, it was a great um, liquid asset that I could trade uh, for something that would be more PC for me. And then I also traded this Jeter that I'll throw up here as well. Um, I got this card again, really cheap. And, um, you know, it's it's a PS, or it's a BGS 8 and with a 10 auto. Great looking card. Um, not my favorite, but the auto was great on it. And um, I was able to use that as a little bit more leverage. And I just threw in just a tiny bit of cash, hardly anything, um, to make this deal happen. And what I ended up picking up was, obviously this isn't the main card, but, you know, it's a nice 71 P Rose and really good condition overall this will go off to get signed that's the whole reason i picked it up is to um, get this one autographed probably in like a, a red deco or red ink um kind of like you get with the heritage throwbacks and then get that slab eventually and then the main card i picked up is this right here a nice 1952 bowman mickey mantle uh, it's a psa2 as you can see and just presents really well um, I was looking on eBay and all the twos that I've seen are really bad condition compared to this. And so I don't know if I'll send this in for a review to see if I can bump it to a three or not. I know that's kind of just playing the cash game with a lot of the grading companies. You may or may not work out in your favor, typically does not. But I just think this one's probably worth sending in um, for the value of the card. But for a two, centering left to right, pretty much dead on. Up down, you're looking probably 60-40, somewhere in that ballpark. Color pretty good overall, probably like a seven um, in terms of color. But if you look, there's like really no surface issues in terms of um, crinkles or wrinkles or creases or anything like that. And the card looks just fantastic. And then the back of the card, there's no paper loss, there's no staining. It just, I mean, this card just looks fantastic. And so maybe in that top right corner there, a little bit of a, you know, you can see kind of the, the wrinkle on the back a little bit. But overall, this card is just amazing. And I felt like it was a good trade. I feel like there's upside to the vintage, especially Mantle. The rookies continue to climb and continue to set records. So I feel like, you know, even the second year card will continue to go up as well. And um, Mantle's pretty liquid as well. I mean, Curry's obviously going to be somebody that you can get rid of if you want to. But this is just an amazing card. Super excited to add it to the collection. Probably, obviously, the best mantle I've, I've ever put in my collection. I've never really focused on him. 
And, um, you know, it just happened to be at the show, and I figured it was, it was maybe a great opportunity to pick one up. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the trade. Do you think, do you think it was a, a fair trade overall for both people? Or, you know, did I give up too much? Or, you know, do you feel like maybe I even took a little bit um, of the advantage long term with this card? I don't know. So, but I'm just excited to have it for now. And um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, enjoy what you do. Collect what you like. It's just a hobby. Um, have fun with it, guys. All right. Talk to you later.